Hey everyone, it's me Maha from Mini Maha's Nails. Today I'll be doing a video on this Yayogi Builder Gel Kit that I received. In this kit, you get a gel base coat. You also get a no wipe top coat. Nail buffer, lovely pink. We also get a nail file which is 100 to 180 grit. We get a whole bunch of uh, nail forms which I'm excited to do, this could be the first time for me. And get a cute little gel brush. You get a sun mini lamp, you've seen me use from these before but it's really cool you get one with the kit. And you get seven shades. First one is clear, white. Next is thin pink. All these tubs are 14 grams, so it's a very generous amount for a kit. Next we have the cup pink, light pink, and we have pink. And last shade is soft pink. I'll be doing a side-by-side -side swatch of these shades for you on a piece of paper just to show you how they look like. First one I'll be swatching is the clear shade. You can see from the tub that it's very clear, very shiny. Uh, just one thing to note with these type of builder gels is they can be a bit stretchy and very sticky so that was a bit different for me in comparison to builder gels that come in a bottle. The next shade we have is light pink. This is a really beautiful coral type of pink. Uh, very, very lovely and one of my favourite shades that came in the kit. The next shade we have is the white it was very surprising how white this gel was. Uh, it was whiter than the piece of paper I'm about to put it on, so I was very impressed by that. Next shade we have is Cover Pink. You guys might know I already use lots of Cover Pinks, so I was very excited that I received one. And it's a beautiful shade, it's like a soft baby pink. Another one of my favourites that came in the kit. Next we have this very interesting shade. Uh, at first I thought it was like an orange salmon type of colour, but the more I looked at it and after I applied it, I noticed the peachy nude colour, which ended up being quite cute. Next up we have soft pink, again this beautiful dusty pink, one of my favourites as well. I love anything that's this sort of colour so very excited to use this one. And the last shade we have is called pink. Uh, at first I thought it was going to be a very vibrant pink but when I dipped my brush in I noticed it was actually a clear colour and it was just tinted with pink so it was very cute and different as well. I'll just show you up close how these look. So you can see these colours are really shiny and very beautiful. Just want to also let you know that I will be doing uh, my nails in three possible different ways that I know how to use Builder Gel to create your nails. The first way is how I've already done my thumb and how I'll be doing my index finger. The way I'll be doing that is using a full cover tip and using the Builder Gel to pretty much glue the nail onto me. Having it already shaped the way I want it and very minimal work to do for this. Next way I'll be doing is for my middle finger which will be using a nail form. 
for my pinky and ring finger I will be using half cover tips and building the doodle gel on top of it to create strength and creating the nail. Let's get started. First off, I'm buffing my natural nails, removing any shine. I'll be applying a primer and dehydrator to get any, rid of any oils. I'm applying a base coat to my index and middle finger. Curing that. On my index finger, I'm applying some gel just on my natural nail. Curing that. Uh, drilling the inside of the nail tip to let it adhere. And applying the gel just to where I buffed it to press that onto my natural nail and letting that dry underneath the lamp and then painting the underside of the free edge with the builder gel to create one whole colour from underneath the nail rather than above. Applying a top coat, letting that dry, moving on to bottom, same thing. Next I'll be using the nail forms for my middle finger. Using the next colour, I applying it to the free edge and extending the nail first just so I can figure out how long I need my nail to be before popping that into the lamp. Next I'm just getting as close as I can to the cuticles and then building the apex and structure for my nail so that it doesn't break or damage my natural nails if anything happens. Again, going in with some more just until I was happy, trying to make it very similar to my index finger in regards to apex, height, and the length of the nail. I wiped that off with some alcohol and now I'm just filing and shaping it, getting it all nice and smooth so I can see exactly how it looks like before I seal it off with a top coat. You can see I go a bit back and forth with this just because being a bit fussy how I wanted it, I wanted it to be perfect and until I was happy with that then I applied a top coat and dried that. Next I'm using half cover tips for my ring finger and my pinky, applying that with some glue, letting that hold. Please be patient while you're doing this, I was not, you'll see later on one of them pops off while I'm trying to shape it re-glue that on and just be patient let it dry properly. And then I was just filing the edge of that to create the right shape that I needed and buffing above it so that there wasn't any ledge from natural nail to the tip. After that I applied a top coat, uh, base coat sorry, to my natural nail, just letting that dry under the lamp. And then going in with the builder gel on top, similar to how I did my middle finger, just building the nail up, creating the apex structure, just making it look as similar as I can to my other fingers. Honestly, as beautiful as this colour was, it was the most fiddliest one to work with. It was a bit thicker than the others, so it was a bit of a struggle for me to use, but in the end we got there after lots of going back and forth, back and forth. And then I'll be repeating the same thing through my pinky finger with the last colour. Just fixing it up, creating the apex again, structuring the nail. And then a bit more of that, just till I was happy with the final result. And just wiping that off with some alcohol so it's not sticky. And then going in with the file, just roughing that up, getting it nice and smooth, shaping it, making it a bit thinner so it suited the other nails. And going in with a buffer to really smooth that out so I can see exactly what I'm working with. And once I was happy with the result, just wiping that off with some alcohol and applying a top coat, letting that dry. Last off, I'm just applying some cuticle oil, and that's the final look. Thanks for watching. Bye!